Good evening, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to the celebration of the Holy Eucharist, the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. Let us include in our prayers the following intentions. For the thanksgiving of Jesus and Lucina Nogoy for their 54th wedding anniversary, Jennifer Manarang Canlas, Lito and Lori Zapanta, Marlon, Joyce, and Ira Takdol, Lisa Gutierrez, Efren, and Tess Tolentino. For the birthday thanksgiving of Bea Cruz, Johnny Marin, Ledesma Datu, Karen Pexon, June Capis. For the special intentions of Ray Angelo Alvarez, Emelita Miguel Montemayor, Catherine and Tristar Soto, Christine Sotelo, John Carlo Tubig, Agnes David and family, Jovi Ann Ayra Tayag, Felicito Dizon, Bernie and baby Hanson and family, Phil and Janet Castro and family, Mark and Michelle Rivera, Herminio and Lynette Nukum and family, Eleanor Ventura, Hermi Robes, Arman and Mariette Nang, Rosana Reyes, Jimmy and Inday Santo Domingo, Patrick and Sara Goquinko, for healing, speedy recovery, and good health of Father Edwin Delay, Antonio Cabiling, Eliadora Balingit, Sixto Gomez, Mirna Sevilla, Cesar Olegue, Temi Bande, Divina Gracia Carbunco, Sophie Yap, Jocelyn David, Teresita Banag Nogoy, Ricardo Nogoy Sr., Joan Lazo, Gracita Bautista, Baby Zaina Loreen Hope Matitu, Basilica Binuya Quesada, Angelo Quizon, Violeta Bautista Manalo, Claudita Tolentino, Luz Un Ocampo, Adele Umlas, Sona Madlangbayan Agapon, Cyril Blue Galvez, Eler Vito, Gloria Panlelio, Ernesto Dizon, and those who may pray for healing. For the eternal repose of the souls of Amada Bas Valizuela, Vicente Cruz, Bienvenido Montemayor Senior, Esmirna Perez, Veronica Obis, Filmer Abrahano, Clarita Valdivieso, Juan Ocampo, Eddie Kembao, Eddie Emmanuel Kembao, Adoracion Yonzon, Aileen de la Cuesta, Godofredo Jesus and Ninita David, Zoilo, Seferina, and Lourdes Cunanan, Annette and Antonio Sicat, Arnel and Peter David, Pablo and Norma Meneses, Prudencio and Cecilia Tanueco, Salud Samia, Correa Tanueco, Carmelita David, Mamerto Alcid Juan, Rodel Olea, Christopher Glenn Binuya Kinson, Henemino and Asuncion Umlas, Faustino Santa Maria Jr., Luciana Olalia, Elena Parico, Vicente and Ellen Tantamco, Alex Resurrection, Alejandro and Milagros Resurrection, Maria Teresa Morales, Magno and Francisca Hipolito, 
and all poor souls in purgatory. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Deo Galang. Let us all rise and glorify the Lord by singing the ancient hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good evening, po. Good evening, po, Amo. We are celebrating this Sunday the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. Sometimes we call it Trinity Sunday, the foundation of our faith and of our baptism as we were baptized in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This is our God of relationship, a God of sharing that identifies our value as persons, as church and family. For the times we degrade ourselves and see and do not see our value because of any experiences of disappointment or people who bring us down, let the mercy of God help us celebrate the grace of our beautiful person. For the times that we have sinned, we ask the Lord for pardon. Together we pray. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy.
let us pray. Remember your prayer, your petition in this Mass. God, our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification made known to the human race your wondrous mystery. Grant, we pray, that professing the true faith, we have acknowledged the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity and powerful in majesty. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Liturgy of the Word. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Thus says the wisdom of God, The Lord possess me, the beginning of his ways, the forerunner of his prodigies of long ago. From of old I was poured forth, at the first before the earth. When there were no depths, I was brought forth, when there were no fountains or springs of water, before the, found, before the mountains were settled into place, before the hills I was brought forth. While as yet the earth and fields were not made, nor the first clods of the world. When the Lord established the heavens, I was there. When he make out, mark out the vault over the face of the deep. When he made firm the skies above. When he fixed fast the foundations of the earth. When he set for the sea its limit. So that the waters should not transgress his command. Then was I beside him as his craftsman. And I was his delight day by day, playing before him all the while, playing on the surface of his earth, and I found delight in the human race. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let our response be, O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O oh Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. When I behold your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you set in place, what is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O oh Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. You have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. All ship and oxen, yes, and the beast of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims, the fats of the seas. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith to this grace in which we stand, and we boast in hope of the glory of God. Not only that, but we even boast of our afflictions, 
knowing that affliction produces endurance, and endurance proven character, and proven character hope, and hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us all rise to honor the Holy Gospel. together please glory to the father the son and the holy spirit to god who is who was and who is to come The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the Spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak of his own, but he will speak what he hears. And will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. And for this reason, I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Discover your true worth. Sana'y makita mo ang tunay mong halaga. There was this father who is quite old already, but is one of his youngest son is about to graduate from college. And so he wanted his son to inherit his old car. But the car is very, very old. The father said, My son, try to bring this car to a second-hand car dealer and ask them how much this car is worth. So the son went to the second-hand car dealer and the assessment of the second-hand dealer, of course, they will treat it as a second-hand car. Eh, lumang-lumang-luma na, wala na sa kanilang catalog yung listahan ng mga second-hand. Di ba po yung mga second-hand dealer, hindi naman memorize yung halaga. Limbawa, Toyota 2015 model ganito, meron silang guide. O kaya, Honda 2010, titignan niya, tapos ganitong model. Titignan nila, meron lang silang matrix where they could use as reference. E yung sasakyan, matandang, matandang, matanda na, wala na sa kanilang listahan. Sabi nung second-hand car dealer, 
It's no longer in our books. It's too old. I can give you $1,000 for your old car. So the son reported to his dad, Dad, your car owns $1,000 according to the second hard car dealer. And then the father said, Now, my son, try to ask a person in a pawn shop. In America, pawn shops are not only about jewelries, they're about things that you can, can pawn. Like a car. Dinala niya yung, yung, yung old car in a pawn shop, and then the old car was assessed in its value, and according to the assessment, the pawn shop dealer says, your car is worth $10,000. And if I give you $10,000, I could keep you. you. cannot pay, we will have it. So the son went back to the father, Dad, according to the pawn shop dealer, your car can be pawned by $10,000. And then the father said, lastly, my son, go to my friends. We have a vintage car collector's club. Try to ask my friends in our club how much this car will be assessed. So the son brought the car to the friends of his father in their association of vintage car collectors. And they were so surprised when he brought the car of his father and the son said, my father is already very old. He wanted me to know how much this car really in its value because he wants to give it to me. And then the friends of his father said, you know, the car of your father is very rare. Konti na lang ang ganyan sa mundo ngayon. There are few left and one of them is that car of your father. We know the story of that car. We know how your father took care of that car. And everything is still original. Ang gamit. It's still intact. And it's, and it's driving and it can be used still very well. And then sabi ng mga kaibigan ng daddy niya in their vintage car collector's club, we can value the car of your father with at least $100,000. At least. So the son was so happy to tell his father, Dad, your friends at the Vintage Car Collectors Club said your car is at least $100,000 and even more. And then the father said, you are right, my son. Did you see the value of the car? If you bring it to a second-hand dealer, it will only see it as a second-hand car. If you go to a pawn shop, it will only assess it from the perspective of the pawn shop dealer. But if you look at it from the perspective of those who really appreciate and know the story of that car, you realize how valuable it is. Ganyan din po tayong tao. If you allow people to judge you, and those people do not know you, and those people do not love you, they will really find you very cheap. Di ba, nasabi ko na minsan sa homily ko, sa ating mga Pilipino, when you say foul words, when you say bad words, when you curse, sa Tagalog, ang salita natin, nagmura, nagmumura, minura ako. As it when people do not know you and they say bad words to you, make, they make us cheap. They depreciate us. You don't go to the second-hand car dealer. You don't go to the pawn shop. You don't go to the junk shop. They will assess you as junk. You go to people who love you, who know you, and appreciate what you really have. My dear friends, today, we celebrate Trinity Sunday. Trinity Sunday is a celebration of the value of our person in relation to our God and to one another. Paano mo makikita ang iyong halaga? 
hindi pag ikaw ay nakatabi sa kotse mo o mahalaga ka dahil nakatabi ka sa malaking bahay ninyo o sa mga medals mo, you will see your value sa mga taong nagmamahal sa iyo. Did you see the term of the Filipino? When they curse you, when they say bad words to you, ang tawag natin, minura ka. They made you cheap. But when they love you, the Filipino term is minahal ka. It's not even romantic. But the meaning of the word minahal, nagiging mahal ka. Your value is celebrated and appreciated. This is the relationship of the Holy Trinity. Our God is a God who values us. Di ba po? Sino po yung magaling sa accounting sa inyo? Di ba po sa accounting? Net worth? Net worth. Kung anong meron ka. The, the, the last, the bottom line. You have to see your assets minus your liabilities is equal to net worth. Or in simple words, what you own versus what you owe is equals to your net worth. Please, do not see your self-worth equal to your net worth. Hindi po pareho yun. Ang halaga ng iyong pagkatao, hindi ka mukha ng halaga kung anong meron ka. That is just material. Because I'm very sure your self-worth is far more valuable than your net worth. Ang halaga ng iyong sarili, kahit gano'ng kapakayaman, mas mahalaga ang iyong pagkatao sa mga material bagay na nasa iyo. And this, we would like to see how we appreciate each other. Just yesterday, I was listening to a podcast. Mayroong isang in, nag-interview. He was interviewing retired millionaires. Mayroong palang ganun, no? Millionaryo sila, retired na. Hindi na siya, maybe the, the business still goes on. Pero they are not into active business anymore. They are old. More than 80 years old, most of them. And there is one question that I would like to to pick up. Tanong nung nag-interview, sayang mang sabi niya, Did money improve your life? Kasi milyonaryo sila, no? Did money improve your life? One of the old millionaires said, I would like to quote him, Money did not improve my life. Relationships did. Relationships are the real currency of life. The better the relationships you have in your community, among your family members, your peers, your neighbors, even your office mates, the better your life will be. Ang kalakaran daw ng buhay hindi pera. Ang kalakaran sa buhay, relasyon. Siguro sa bangko, sa tindahan, sa palengke, ang kalakaran dyan, pera. Pero pagdating sa buhay, in real life, our real currency is relationship. And our God, the true in God, the Trinitarian God, is a God of relationship. May we reflect our God in this way, how we relate with others. Not only that I'm successful, I'm intelligent, I'm capable. Maybe, yes, it will help so much with how you can do things better for others. You can be more productive and efficient. But I pray that indeed, you will have good relationships because that will also mean you have a good life. The second part of, of the worth of our person in reference to the Holy Trinity is our capacity to share. Communion. When you break your bread, parents are unhappy when their children grow up to be possessive and to be exclusive for what they have. When they sound to be claiming what they believe to be their entitlement. Using pro- pro- possessive pronoun, akin. Akin. Akin yan, akin mama, akin. Parang, it's okay when you are young. Pero pag matanda naman tayo, di ba? 
I hope we all grow the term. Nakakaya naman kung matatanda ni mana mo, agin mama, agin naman yung mana yan. I think our Christian life did not really permeate into our hearts and our minds and life. We would rather use the possessive pronoun, atin. Atin. Sa atin yan. Pagsalusaluhan natin. Sa atin yan. Tara, enjoy natin together. Atin yan. You don't have to, to, to feel insecure. Let's share it. Let's celebrate it. That's ours. To be inclusive. To be concerned about our common good. To be able to transcend the differences and complement each other instead. It's called Trinitarian lifestyle. May kukwento po ako sa inyo. Minsan, may isang mother. She was testing if her daughter already knows how to share. Tinuturo kasi itong anak niya paano siya mag-share. How to share her cookies, her sandwich, sa school. And one time, the mother trusted the daughter. Because the daughter was holding two apples in her, in her hand. The mother said, Can you share your apples with me? And then the daughter did not say a word. She bit the first apple. Kinagat niya yung gunang mansana. Kinain niya. Kinagat niya. And then, naghihintay yung mama, nabigyan siya. And to the surprise of the mother, yung kalawang apple, kinagat din niya. The mother was very disappointed. Nalungkot po yung mama kasi dalawa yung apple. Kinagat niya para, di ba? Pag kinagat niya, may lawan na din. Parang sa akin to, parang gano'n. Tapos yung bata, hindi naman sumasagot. Kinakain niya yung kalawang apple. Kinagat niya kalawa. Tapos na nahimik yung bata. Mami, this apple is sweet. It's sweeter. It is better. I give you this apple. Kaya pala kinagat, tinikman ko nga rin yung mas masarap. Tinikman na rin yung mas matamis. At yun yung binigay niya sa mama niya. And the mother was so happy. The daughter did not only learn how to share, she even know how to share the better part of what she has. Di ba kung misan nagbibigay tayo yung sobra lang, yung gusto mo nang itapon, yung di mo na kailangan, yung di mo na gusto. But this little girl, tinikpan niya ulit. <laughs> Pero just to know which is better, which is sweeter, and that's the one she shared to her mother. Our faith is one of our greatest treasure. May we learn how to share this also. Sana ang ating pananampalataya sa Diyos may bahagi din natin sa iba, hindi lang yung material na bagay. Nalulungkot po ako kung tumanda tayong nagsisimba, nagdarasal, pero yung mga susunod na lahi, mga bata, mga anak, mga pamangkin, mga apo, hindi sila naging malapit sa Diyos. If there is one thing that we can consider our greatest treasure, it is the faith of our church. It is the faith of our family. Most of us learn getting to know you song in our elementary school days. Alam niyo po yung song natin nung bata tayo? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier are we. All your friends are my friends, and your friends are my friends. The more we get together, the happier are we. Remember that song? Kaya pala umuulan, kumanta ako. Pero may kapampangan version yan. May kapampangan version. Alam nyo yung kapampangan version nito. So, panyo ko. So that the young will understand what we mean. So, panyo po magkanta. Nung miyabe abe tamu, miyabe, miyabe. Nung miyabe abe tamu, masaya tamu. See? The basis of happiness of this old song is not about wealth. It's about our relationship, our being together. That makes you happy. Hindi naman sinasabi ng song, Nung makwaltang makwalta ta mo, makwaltang makwalta. Nung makwaltang makwalta ta mo, masaya ta mo. It does not say that. 
In fact, you can be happy even without being very, very wealthy. On the other hand, you can be very wealthy and you can be unhappy. But the song says, it's our relationship. It's our being together like the Trinity of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit that makes us joyful. And the second part of the song says in Kapampangan, Ingka ko ke kaya, ingke ka kakuyam nung miya, mea beta mo, masaya ta mo. That is sharing. What is mine is yours. This is the gospel. When Jesus said, All that I have belongs to the Father, and that I give and declare to you. And everything that the Father has is mine. And for this reason, I tell you, it will take what is mine and declare it to you. This is our joy. This is our worth. When we see ourselves in relation to the people who love us, mga taong nagmamahal sa atin, and we find our worth when we can share and can give the best of the Lord what given us. Let this be our good news. Let this be our celebration. May God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please all rise. Together, my dear friends, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God, God from true God, God. begotten not me, consubstantial with the Father. Father. Through him, him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came, he came down, down from, from heaven, heaven, and by, by the Holy Spirit was incarnate, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. man. For, for our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death, death and was buried, and rose, and rose again, again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come, he will again, come again in glory, in glory to judge the, judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, was spoken, was spoken through the, the prophets. prophets. I, believe I believe in one holy Catholic, Catholic and apostolic church. church. I, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Confident of your love for our, all of us in Christ, we implore you, Father, to help us to be sensitive to the movement of your Spirit in and among us. Full of trust, we pray, God, one and true in, be with us. God, one and true in, be with us. In the spirit of your communion, may our church leaders become faithful exemplars and mirrors of your love and glory to the lay faithful and all people of goodwill, we pray. God, one and true in, be with us. Inspired by your eternal love, May our national and local leaders, and we, the citizenry, vigorously preserve and promote the dignity of every human being in all levels of our society, we pray. God, one and true in, be with us. Following the example of your loving, undivided union, may all families foster loving and long-lasting relationships in with and among each other. May husbands and wives, parents and children be moved to love unconditionally, we pray. God, one and true in, be with us. May basic ecclesial communities strive to work with greater harmony and peace among members of the church amidst their limitations and limitless, we pray. God, one and true in, be with us. May all of us gathered here share Christ's glory together with your Holy Spirit through our care for one another. We pray. God, one and true in, be with us. 
As they enter their eternal home with you, welcome our departed loved ones to your kingdom, we pray. God, one and true in, be with us. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. Loving Father, you have loved us even before time began through your word and life-giving spirit. Continue to lead us back to your loving arms by steering us in us the spirit of Amen. The Liturgy of the Eucharist. Pray, my dear friends, that the sacrifice may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify by your invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord, our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in the same proper way to each person, their trinity in substance and their equality in majesty. It is in this praise by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day as with one voice they acclaim.
praise me. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be shed for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith For as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Florentino, our Bishop, and all the clergy, and all those who share our mission, our ministries, our faith, especially those who help us in our parish at the Holy Cross. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, with Jesus, let us pray.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to the apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Dear friends, let us share with one another the peace of our Lord Jesus. Peace be with you, Pope. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. act of spiritual communion lord jesus you are the bread of life whoever eats this bread will live forever i love you and desire to receive you in holy communion at this moment i cannot receive you in the sacrament of the holy eucharist come then spiritually and dwell in my heart I embrace you and unite myself totally to you. May I never be separated from you. Amen. Body of Christ. Body of Christ.
Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal Holy Trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The regional vicar of Opus Dei in the Philippines cordially invites you to attend a solemn Eucharistic concelebration on the feast of Saint Jose Maria Escriba, founder of Opus Dei, on Thursday, June 30, 2022, at 5.30 p.m. at Holy Rosary Parish, Angeles City. It will be celebrated by the Most Reverend Florentino G. Lavarias, D.D., Archbishop of San Fernando, together with Most Reverend Pasciano B. Anisete, D.D., Archbishop Emeritus. Priests will be available for confessions starting at 5 p.m. We are also in the process of uh, gathering candidates for the Sacrament of Confirmation. Magkakaroon po tayo ng kumpil sa ating parokya. May backlog tayo kasi two years, almost three years, wala po tayong confirmation. So dumami siguro yung mga bata. The requirement is at least 10 years old, pataas. And then uh, kailangan may baptismal certificate. And there will be catechesis. It will start on Saturday at 8 o'clock in the morning until 11. Yung registration is still ongoing. Please visit our parish office except Monday, walang office pag Monday, and the uh, office hours, you can uh, register your son, daughter, para po. At uh, I'm very happy to inform you, uh, last week, yung ating choir leader, si Thea Balinas, pumasa ng CPA, di ba? May CPA tayo among the choir. Ayun naman, ang ating commentator, si Therese, Kapis Maniti, siya naman ay gumraduate ng Manya Cum Laude in her The Holy Angel University, a program of accountancy. Tama? Congratulations, uh, Therese, for your wonderful academic success. Naniniwala ako. Huwag niyo sabihin sa akin, Father, busy ako, hindi ako makakapag-serve. Nag-aaral ako. Eh sila, nag-aaral. Manya Cum Laude. Yung isa, nag-organo. CPA. In fact, when you serve the Lord, you become more inspired to do your best and to bring out the best in you. Sana ating mga kabataan, maniwala kayo. Pwede niyong makamit ang galing ni Ate Therese at saka ni Ate Thea sa inyong pag-aaral, lalo na sa ating mga sudyante dito sa Sapang Bato. Congratulations, Therese. We are very happy and very proud of you. I'll bless you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow your head for God's blessings. May Almighty God always keep you and your, from your adversity far from you. And in His kindness pour out upon you the gifts of His blessing. Amen. May God keep your hearts attentive to His words that they may be fulfilled with everlasting gladness. Amen. And so you may always understand what is good and what is right and be found ever hastening along in the path of God's commands made co-heirs with the citizens of heaven. Amen. And may the blessings of Almighty God rest upon you and your family and loved ones, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we have celebrated Holy Trinity Sunday, May you see the value, the worth of your person in our relationship, in our capacity to share. Our Mass is offered. Thanks be to God.